Hello, hello. <clears throat> hello, can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi, Veronica. How are you? Fine. And you? I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you for asking. How was your day today? Uh, that's very busy, but interesting. <laughs> a lot of stuff to do in my job. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sorry, where, where do you work? The airport in uh, Judy City. Oh, in the airport. Oh, yeah, I remember. You told me. And, um, okay. <clears throat> it's hot, no? Yes, but outside. Inside of the airport, it's really cold. Oh, that's it's true. Just, yeah. uh, it's a terrible change of the temperature. <laughs> what What part of the airport do you do you work? The screen is frozen, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it is and and the and the second. Uh, floor and the stories. Yes. And in the I don't know how to say in English. Papa, the the luggage into the airport. Oh, you work in the luggage section. Yes, and maybe because it's a, like a, uh, the the stories and the. And the, I forgot how to say bodega. I forgot the word. You can say storage unit. Uh -huh, the storage. The, the warehouse. Yeah. No. Um, have you ever seen famous people in the airport? I used to have a friend that she worked in the airport and she told me like, sometimes there's a lot of famous people in the airport but they don't necessarily come to El Salvador. They're, they're, they may be they're going to Chile or, or South America. Ah, yes, in connection. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes, it's true. One time she called me and she said that Bruce Willis was there. Oh, really? But, but in the VIP. Yeah. She worked yes. in the VIP. Ah, it is the reason because uh, I start uh, the majority of time on, on the public. Oh, okay. Uh, part of the story in the public. And yeah. VIP sometimes, but it's not. Yeah, she called me. I remember she said, hey, look, Bruce Willis. I spoke with Bruce Willis, uh, Luis Miguel. Um, a lot of a lot of singers that are going to South America. Yeah, yes, it's true. That's cool. That's I, nice. I've never, never seen... Only, only a uh, 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 guys of the band of the rock. Uh, I forgot the name. Iron Maiden. Uh, no, Iron Maiden is really famous, and uh, my co-worker in the airplane uh, when she, when they arrived to the airport. Yeah, that was that was cool. Uh, that was cool, and the people around the airport waiting for the band. Yeah, but it's it was in in to in twenty seventeen, I think, kind of. Yeah, it was like two. Yes, it was around two thousand seventeen. It's true. Uh huh. And and I worked in another place in that time. Oh, okay, so what what famous people have you seen? Um, mm, uh, me no, I don't really. My my coworker uh, sometimes seen the one guy or the band music. I forgot the name to, to the. I don't know, but it's really famous band music band. Oh, okay. The, the name, <laughs> but sometimes people uh, seen uh, like a. For example, Sebastian Yatra. 
when when they came to the Salvador, passed to the April and the started of my bus <laughs> uh, trying to 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 take a permission for and try in and try to the airport for seeing Sebastian Yatra. <laughs> Sebastian who? Black. Yatra. I don't know. It's not like a tone music. I don't know what I like it. Sebastian Black. The skid row. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, uh, the skid row. No, it's in the same boxes were like, oh, I, uh, <laughs> but, 18 but and then, over. That is in a, in a reggaeton music because I don't, I don't know him. Mm, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, in that case, it's like, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, but one friend had a picture with the, uh, the guy called the uh, Megadeth. Wow. Uh, now we're talking. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the, 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 the Megadeth. Yeah. I hear that um, the singer was a very bad person. Because I have some students that they work in... Um, I used to teach many hotels, like the personnel from hotels, and they would tell me, like, one time I asked them, like, who are the cool people that you met, cool celebrities and um, and celebrities that are not very cool? And I remember they told me, like, Dave Mustang, the singer of um, Megadeth, yeah. Yeah. they told me it's not that he's not cool. He's just strange. He just didn't want people to look at him. Yeah. That's true. He, yeah, yeah he, he demanded, like, people don't look at him. That's, he told me that um, who is really cool were um, the Maná people, Marco Antonio Solis. Ah, Marco Antonio Solis, yes. Uh, as they say that. Of he, my, took a picture and a, and a hook uh, for, from Marco Antonio Solis. <laughs> you know, my, my boss, he studied... Well, he was like the general manager for the Intercontinental. And this I did not know. Do you know that when Guns N' Roses came like seven years ago, I think, that the yeah, only, probably. he told me that actually Axl Rose stayed here like for a week, but he never went outside the room. Oh, really? Yeah, he told me that the, <laughs> he- Is it he, to the case to the, to the, uh, I, uh, uh, Iron Maiden, no, Iron Maiden, he bought, bought a, a coffee on the street. Do you see the picture, Dio? Uh, who was uh, Who was it? Uh, Bruce Dickinson? The vocalist of Iron Maiden. Uh, Bruce Dickinson, yeah. yeah. Uh, Bruce Dickinson, Mr. Yeah. Bruce Dickinson, please. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, he brought a coffee in, in the, on the street. Yeah. And, uh, when my yeah. when my boss told me that he told me that um Axel Rose he was he was he said he never went outside the room and he only ordered things and he ordered like beer that they didn't sell in the hotel so he had to go personally to go look for Sapporo beer somewhere because Axel Rose wanted Sapporo beer and the thing is that he imagine how cool this is. In one of uh, one of those days, like Axel Rose decided to go out of the room, and in the lobby there was a party. So maybe he heard like a cumbia, you know, playing, and he went in like for ten minutes, and then they recognized him. There, there was a wedding. There was a wedding in that moment, and I guess the live music he went in to watch, but when they recognized him, he immediately went back to the room. Oh. But imagine how cool that would be. My wife told me, what would you have done if it was our wedding and, and Axel Rose would walk in? Oh, man, I would immediately tell him, can you please kiss my wife? <laughs> please. <laughs> so yeah. then, and then immediately I kiss my wife because it wouldn't look very nice if I kiss Axel. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, my wife got very angry. <laughs> I said, well, don't ask. <laughs> you're, you're really fan of Guns N' Roses. I, no, I, I like Guns N' Roses a lot. I, I grew up listening to them, and they were they were they're a great band. I mean, they had good albums. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to go I think November Rain is the greatest video in the history of music. Yeah. 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 All right. How are you, class? Hello, mm -hmm. Jaime. Hello, Marvin. Oh, my God. I need my glasses. Hello, Carla, Claudia, Ronnie. Good evening. Good evening. You sound happy today. Hello, teacher. Hey, Ronnie. We have Doris and Sandra. What's new in your life today? Did anything interesting happen to you today? It was a very regular day. <laughs> it was a normal day? Yeah. Another day, another dollar type of day? Nothing so interesting. <laughs> yeah, you know, like that's, you know, when people ask, how was your day today? Yeah. In Salvadorian, we say like, la, la, mi mama usada. <laughs> it's an expression, English? right? What is, what is expression in English? Same. 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 <laughs> Yeah, or you can say like, you know, another day, another dollar. A hectic day? Yeah, no, but no, don't, but, but uh, what we're saying is expressions. Like, same expression, yeah. Yeah, you know, another day, another dollar, same old, same old. Normally. Mm -hmm. Or what Gio said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> um, maybe we could do that Friday. Uh, we can do, I, I want to do items with you. I'll give you a list of items so we can learn more. Items, I'll be honest with you, for me, items is caliche. Yeah, formal, yeah. formal caliche. Yeah, items is propio del idioma. That doesn't exist in other languages. There can be similar, similar items, but literally you cannot translate word by word. I think every language have an idiom, huh? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Every, every language has their own idioms. Well, yeah, yeah, it's uh, some properly from the, what, the geographic uh, country or whatever that, or region, you can use some idiomatic expression, very, very specific for the, for the country, huh? Yes, it's true. And in Spanish too, you know, if you travel to Guatemala or Nicaragua or Mexico, Mexico that has the song expression in Spanish, is, is, the meaning is different from here, no? Yes. Yes, that's why I always recommend people, when people ask me, what should I study, TOEFL or, um, or uh, what's the other one, the most famous? Oh, TOEIC. I actually recommend people to speak TOEIC, uh, to learn TOEIC. Because TOEFL, I'll be honest with you, is ridiculous. It's, it's so, so difficult, but easy. Like, uh, let's say a question would be, okay, can you give me an example of a present progressive future action, meaning unintended action, blah, blah, blah. You, you, you know, you're like, what the hell? But, but, but I don't know, TOEFL with the toy, with a very, is a, so different, really. No, yes. toy, toy it is, it's an example for me that you can have a to work in environment or some language or, say, or it's in English, but, uh, if you are have I don't know a TOEFL, you have a you know as a second second language, you have understand whatever accent, whatever expression, whatever that you speak, you have speak very fluency English with whatever you that has to speak in to discuss something topic or or yeah. But if you if you have I don't know if you have a toy, you you can speak, but. Not really have a, uh, the wider vocabulary. Sometimes you have a, not to understand very well that you listen a song. It's not the not not more than the if you if you have a if you have a tofu. Sometimes you are 
I know the different for me is to have a different, uh, you can uh, speak English as a second language, uh, you're, you use uh, a lot of vocabulary, aromatic expression, phrasal verb, or whatever you can understand, whatever kind of, of conversation with another people. No? Actually, um, when people ask me, what should I study, TOEIC or TOEFL? I ask them, depends, what do you want? Why, why do you want to learn English? TOEFL is actually to prove that you speak English. Yeah. Like when you go to an embassy, if you're going to ask for a scholarship and in an English speaking country, you know, they ask you, okay, can you please pass the TOEFL? Even though if they, if they can, they can conversate with you in person, but they need it, they need it in written, you know? So that's what TOEFL is. It's just to prove that you can speak English. If you're going, like I said, if you're going to get a scholarship or maybe a working visa and that country may be, okay, there are requirements. Do you speak English? Yes, of course I speak English. I'm not, and they say, okay, yeah, okay, very nice. I can hear you speak English, but we need it in written because, you know, so then they give you the exam. TOEIC, the reason why I mentioned TOEIC is I I would, if, if, I'm, if, if I'm not applying or I'm not going to work outside, I would study TOEIC because TOEIC is very interesting. Um, I think, Jaime, you were saying right now that Latin America is very big and we all speak differently. Some people use vos, some people use tu, some people, you know, and um, what TOEIC is, it teaches you how to, it's the same thing like with all the different English, the European English, the um, British English, and the American English. But, 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 what, but sometimes, what about, but it's, it's, it's easier if you ask okay, people, um, I understand, but well, I don't know, your accent is a... No, is, no. Um, well, but, but if you want to have a conversation with native speaker, with different kind of accent, you have an, uh, in a conversation, in a call conference with people from, one of the people from, you, from you know, New York or Boston or uh, Nevada, Nevada or another country or uh, UK. And sometimes it's so differently accent, it's so difficult to understand, but because they use, they speak very quickly, very, and then in the understanding, it's not easier if you have okay. a, with different kind of accent, but I understand with you, I have any problem to speak with you, understand very well, but when I had a conversation with a native speaker, it's so different, for me, it's so differently because- it, Okay, yes, but that would have to be with the comprehension part. But what I'm saying is like the, the, the TOEIC and, and the TOEFL, do you know how to say baño in British English? People in England, they say baño, they say water closet. What, yeah. So people in America, we laugh, we say <laughs> closet, water closet. That's not right. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then they can laugh at us because we say bathroom. And they bathroom. say, huh? But you don't take a bath in the, in the, in the room. You just, you, you do number one or number two, you know? So which is the correct? The correct one would be restroom. Restroom, restroom or and bathroom. That, and that's... that's Okay. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah, you have bathroom or restroom. Okay, so that's what TOEIC teaches you. It teaches you how to speak like the 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 el neutro, English neutro. So like for international communication, el inglés neutro. So similar in Spanish. If somebody asks me, uso vos o uso tú, I would say uso usted. Because <laughs> if you go if you go to Argentina, you go to Mexico. You go to El Salvador or you go to Spain, usted is understandable anywhere. But in, if you go, if you say vos in Mexico, they won't, they will understand you, but they say, why do you say vos? It's two. And then it, it, the contradiction starts. So <laughs> that's what TOEIC does. It teaches you like how to speak like the neutral English, the universal uh, English. But I don't know, but in Spanish too, if you are starting a conversation with the people, you, you never know these people. And uh, the people here, uh, if you have permission, I can use, I don't know, uh, to you, I tell it to or boss or whatever, but if you have a close uh, uh, 
relationship with them, okay, you can, no, no problem. You, you can. Of course, I mean, yes, but it, when it comes down like to business, yeah. you gotta be very formal, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't even think, uh, I, I don't know how to say this, but I, I sometimes I feel like people from Puerto Rico, mm -hmm. Colombia, they speak very, very bad Spanish. And Argentina or Spain that when they have a conversation with Argentina. And uh, the problem is that when they speak people from they, Spain, they, it's difficult to understand that. They, they when are, they speak, they, they, they expect us to understand them, like what they're saying. Yeah. You know, like, I'm sorry, Puerto Rico, pero no es L, no es Puerto Rico, es Puerto Rico. I'm really sorry if you pronounce the L. Puerto Rico, es Puerto Rico, es Puerto Rico. Yeah, but you know, but I think somebody from educated with business wise in Puerto Rico in a conference with Latin America, I think they will pronounce the R, not the L. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, that's what TOEIC is. That's why it's test of English and international communications. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, that's why I, and, and it's, it's interesting. TOEIC is interesting because it teaches you, it teaches you how to use, uh, any word, how to use the word as an adverb, as a verb, as an adjective, it's pretty interesting. So it teaches you how, like how to say like the formal, formal English. Because many people always say like, which is the correct English? The British, the um, Scottish, the, the European English or the American English? And I tell them, I don't know, that's a very difficult question. But one thing I do tell them is that even though if they don't like it, but the most popular English in the world is American English. Yeah, yeah, it's most and it's, and it's because of the pop culture. Um, I'll give an example, Friends, Friends, that TV show. People in India, in Tokyo, in, in anywhere they watch that show, you know? So people are listening more to the American English than any other English. You know, and because one time I had a student, he told me, no, but uh, it's more popular the uh, the British English. It's okay, it's your opinion, but you know, it's okay. Yeah, I'm not saying American English is better. I'm saying it's more popular. And I told him, okay, can you please tell me three TV shows from England that, you know, in the world knows? I think right now it's only Mr. Bean. <laughs> yeah, I love Mr. Bean, by the way. He's, he's, you he's love you, and you love to, you love to, you love to hang a lot. <laughs> oh, he, he's a, he's a master. Man. Yeah. Hey, 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 Tom, can you tell me three, three, three TV shows from the United States? Oh, and they do oh, they tell me, oh, there's that Friends, there's that this, there's How that I that. Met Your Mother. How I Met Your Mother, Seinfeld, well, uh, Love and Order, The Walking Dead. <laughs> Dr. House. Yeah, you see, and that's what I tell people. And if I go to Japan and I ask the same question, people will answer the same thing. If I go to India, people would say the same thing. It's because, I don't know, maybe that's what helps. It's the pop culture. Even movies. Anybody in the world knows where um, Titanic, Fast and the Furious, Rocky, Rambo. But not a lot of people can name me three movies from England or from Scotland. So, can I name a movie from England? Well, a lot of independents. Mm -hmm. All right, um, today we're going to watch a video is What Made You Change? What Made You Change? So it's something you used to do, good or bad, Good or bad, and um, oh, oh, something that used to do good or bad, but it made you change. Like um, I used to read the Bible a lot when I was a little kid until I learned about the Holocaust. I stopped. It made me change. I used to. I used, but, but listen to the thing. When I was a child, I used to, I was, I were, we were, they were. So we're going to watch a video in this moment. 
I'm going to share my screen. Please tell me if you could see it. Can you see it? Mm, yes. Yeah, we can. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's listen to this um, video, please. Hey, she looks good in blue. Mm -hmm. Yes. I was really immature. I made Carol and Alan change. Okay, I'm sorry, let me put from the beginning. So how were you like when you were younger? Listen to the conversation and find out what made Carol and Alan change. I was really immature. Part A. Listen and practice. So what were you like when you were younger? When I was a kid, I was kind of irresponsible. You? Really? What made you change? Graduating from high school. What do you mean? Well, until I graduated, I'd never had any important responsibilities. But then I went off to college. I know what you mean. I was really immature when I was a teenager. So what made you change? I think I became more mature after I got my first job and moved away from home. Once I had a job, I became totally independent. Where did you work? I worked for my dad at the bank. Another turning point for me was when I got my dog, Pepper. I know that sounds silly, but it was really important to me. Why was that so important? Well, I was about 11. I remember that having a dog, you know, he was mine, made me feel really responsible in a funny kind of way. He would follow me everywhere and was always waiting for me when I came home from school. Actually, that sounds kind of nice. I never got to have a dog. But I remember when I got my first bicycle. That was a very important day for me. For the first time, I could go out on my own and go as far as I wanted to. I used to polish the bicycle every day and take really good care of it. Of course, that only lasted a few months and then I lost interest in it. So what was another turning point for Carol and Alan? Okay, this is where we're going to practice here, but actually, if you notice, the easy part here is saying what you used to what you used to do and why you changed. Maybe the most difficult part is the follow up questions. For example, if I if I tell you, um, if I ask you, so tell me, what were you like when you were a little kid? Oh, I was a troublemaker. Oh, really? You know, and then I can say, what made you change? No, but I'm kind of interested. Oh, you were a troublemaker? What did you do? Oh, man, I used to, I used to open the Oreo cookies and put toothpaste in between and give them to my friends. Yeah, that's a good trick in the office. Do you work in the office? Whoever works in the office, do you have somebody that always gets your food? Oh. Because I always, <laughs> that's a good trick, you know. Get the Oreo cookie, eat the cream, and then put toothpaste and close the cookie again. <laughs> and then see their reaction. Like, rrr, rrr. And then Gross. so. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know, but it. And then you know, and what you made you change? You're a wicked person. Yeah, I, I used to be terrible. Uh, what made, and then you know, and I said, really, you used to do that? Yeah, and what made you change? And I can say, wow, well, one day I, I really did something bad. And um, I remember my mom crying, saying, oh my God, I can't anymore. I, I give up. It's impossible. You're too terrible. Uh, because <laughs> remember before the um, this was in the United States. I was very I was maybe eleven. What do you Re do, teacher? Um, remember the bathrooms that when you wash your hands, there used to be like a ball, and then you used to press down, and then the shampoo or, or the soap would come out. Uh, <laughs> I I used to take off that the ball. And I used to pee inside. 
<laughs> and, and I used to put it back. I did it for a lot of time, for a long time. And uh, one time they caught me. And I got, I, I didn't get suspended. They actually evicted me from school. I had to go to a different school. And what made me change was I really, that was when I saw my mother crying, like because she was so disappointed. I said, okay, really, I think I did it. Hmm. And, and I started changing. You know, <clears throat> that's what made me change because I never seen my mom crying. And I actually, I believed her because she, was, she wasn't angry at me anymore. She was just like saying, oh God, why? Why me? So I think, I think my mom would be very happy right now if she sees my son because my son is so terrible. And she would be very happy saying, ha it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, but, but now, I'm, now I'm a normal kid. <laughs> now I'm a normal kid. Now I'm a normal person. <laughs> and that was when I was a little kid. But, you know, you can ask, so tell me, how were you when you were uh, single? How were you when you were young? But remember, make it interesting. You're interested in that person. So ask questions because that person can say, ah, I used to be a very shy person. <laughs> Don't say, ah, okay, and what made you change? No, ask, ask like a follow-up question. Why? You never spoke with anybody or you didn't have friends? Oh, yeah, well, you know, okay. And then ask, and when did you change? Okay, so we're going to start with... Um, Ingrid, can you uh, can you choose someone, please? Okay. Okay, choose um, someone, and um, this is what we're going to do. You're not going to repeat the same topic, you know, because if you ask, I'm, I'm not saying you're going to ask this, but imagine, Ingrid, you ask somebody, can you tell me what you were like when you were a little boy or a little girl? Good. So unfortunately, we cannot ask that anymore. A little boy or a little girl? You have to ask something else. Can you tell me what you were like in high school? Can you tell me when you were going out with your spouse? Like, uh, can, are you married? Oh, you, you can start saying that. Like, are you married? Yes, I am. Oh, good. Can you tell me what you were like when you were going out with your spouse? Oh, I used to be very romantic. Oh, really? Yeah, very, very. I used to be a gentleman. And what made you change? Well, you know, we got married. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go, Ingrid. Ask somebody, please. Uh, Veronica Portillo. All right. Hi. <laughs> um, let me uh, excuse see. me. And if somebody else is interested in Veronica's um, his uh, story, you're welcome to ask. <laughs> okay, let me. Um, can you tell me? Uh, I am. Is correct the word the the way I'm going to ask? Can you tell me where? Mm -hmm. um, where? No, I can ask. Uh, and I can. I want to to structure the the sent the the question. Go ahead. Can you tell me? Uh, is where you I don't I don't understand the, the second part I lost to, oh okay to okay well mm -hmm. you know what well, you want to know is something about Veronica's past it doesn't okay. have to be something like very heavy you know it can be something no. simple something negative something positive but the most important thing is that you're interested in her okay you know, like you know and then do a follow-up question about what she says and you finish with what made you change Okay, but um, the, the 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 doubt that I have is how can I do the sentences? Okay, for example, Veronica, can you tell me something you used to eat a lot before mm -hmm. and now you don't? Can you tell me something you used to do with your friends in high school? Mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. you regret? Mm -hmm. can... That's why. That's why. <laughs> um, can you tell me something that you did when you were in high school that very funny, uh, funny stuff or your best um, memory? Um, no. High school. Mm -hmm. or, 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 tell me how you were you, in high school. 
What? Yeah, yeah, it's part in, in, in Santa Ana. But in high school, I'm really a good girl. I, I was, I was. I was, I was. Uh, but at the university, um, I, I just uh, looked oh. at a, a, a rocker girl. <laughs> you were a rocker girl. You were. Yeah. <laughs> You still do? You still? Do you still? Do you still a rocker girl or? Oh, are you, or you still a rocker girl? Are you still a rocker girl or you change? Yes, I am, but I change to the kind of music because. Uh, oh wait, wait, wait! Good. What? I am yes. That, that's good. Yes, I am. Ingrid. When did is when or oh, when did you change? When and why did you change? Why did you change? Yes, I, I tried to change the, the, the kind of music, especially the, the metal music. I changed the goddess music. It's because the, the lyrics, the, the songs, is really hard, wait, wait, wait. no? Wait, you changed from metal to gothic? No, no, no. The goddess and metal, and now I listen the soft rock. That different rock, kind of rock. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. No, no, no metal because in the past I preferred the symphonic metal, <laughs> no operatic metal. <laughs> but I thought I had to change that. Like sense of the beloved. The, the, like no, no, no. I'm interested. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's because the 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 lyrics is really hard, no, and atheistic. And, and I changed because now I I believe different in that no, and the okay. religion is different for me now. But at the university, I listen oh. to it all. Oh, okay. Oh, so me. so now you you are more now you listen to Christian music. No, not really. Oh, okay. But but I changed. I never heard the metal like the I stand again and um, in the past. Like okay, can you tell me two like bands? Body. Okay, can you tell me two bands you used to listen to back then and two bands that you listen to now? Now I listen, to, uh, for example, that's what Rosa always I listen. For me, two? it's soft. Metallica, Ooh. too. But Metallica past, soft. I, for me, yes. <laughs> wow. But okay. in the past, I listen in another, another music, you know, like uh, Iron Maiden, like a Haggard. Uh, and epica and something like that. Right? That's very interesting, room. Veronica. I would have never imagined that that mm -hmm. you were yeah. you were a heavy metal chick. Yeah, but it's difficult to me to not listen because I like it. But I try to not listen. Listen, but for example, what? epica. I, I what went to the concert. Oh, you did. What yeah. about now? What, do you have children? Do you have children? No. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I don't have. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, my son likes like reggaeton music or something like that. It's oh, too... no. This is terrible. <laughs> yeah. No, but because of Bleepy and, and all those YouTube <laughs> shows. Amazing. Yeah, all those shows. It's not reggaeton, but they have rhythm, you know, like pop. So, yeah. you know, they're, they're catchy. So he dances. I tried and I tried, but... Even when, when my wife was pregnant, I, I would put David Bowie. But <laughs> but don't worry. But you know, he, my son has the liberty to choose what music he listens to. If he listens to rock, good. And if he doesn't, he can move out of my house. But my parents <laughs> really hate the, the, my, the music because I, re, I, really, I remember when I uh, cleaning my house, I put a, a high volume the the night with music night and my wish, father wow. really hates and the ramping music and my father really hates that music <laughs> <laughs> it's the devil music all right cool <laughs> interesting thank you thank you Ingrid thank you Veronica Claudia hello Claudia Maldon hello. all right let, let's let's see let's practice your listening I'm gonna third person what was Veronica like in high school she was a rocket girl. Okay, and what about now? Um, <laughs> she changed. I don't remember why, but 
he he still like that kind of music. I sorry, but it's not the kind of music I listen. So I okay. didn't recognize any of the band she said. Okay, very good. But you explained it very well. I like that. It's okay. Yeah, good. Okay, but one thing she said especially, she said when she was in high school, she used to be more of a metal girl. Ah, oh, metal. Okay. Now she's more of a rocker chick. Oh, All I understand was metal. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay, cool, nice, interesting. All right, thank you. Veronica, can you attack somebody now, please? Ask someone except Ingrid. Okay, maybe... Carla. <laughs> Carla. Okay, cool. Carla. Hi. Hi, Carla. Can you tell us sometime, something about and you do in in the past and you now regret and then you change it? All right, very good. I regret maybe. Uh, um, um, um. I don't regret much. I mean, if I did something and maybe was a wrong, a bad thing. Uh, something you did and what made you change that? Um, maybe skipping out class sometimes. Uh, cutting class. Cutting class? Yeah, that's how you say cut. Cut classes. Cutting class? You used to in, cut class in high school? school or in, or in no, university? in high school, not at, at university. But it is just like a few times. Oh, all but, the, but that's normal. High school is the That's is the deal. normal. <laughs> but in university, uh, sometimes the, the teachers are boring. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. And what made you what made you stop cutting classes, Carla? Uh, no, I just cutting some classes in order to go to a movie theater. This was just a, a, an occasional. Uh, okay, but situation. okay, okay, but that wasn't but it's, like it's what uh, I I can remember now. Okay, but were you like a terrible kid? Were you an uh, no, I, easygoing? No, I was, I was an, an easygoing. I, I studied in a boarding school, so I, with nuns and everything, I was a role model. <laughs> you, were, you were a role model, okay. <laughs> Are you still a role model? Uh, no, maybe not. All right, good. I started thinking things. Like like you said, you uh, used to read a lot of the Bible and everything, and I'm I'm also if you know more things, you have more knowledge. Yes, it's true. You you try to think more and, and have your own, own opinion about things. Are you are uh, you a, are you an atheist? No. If I may ask, I'm sorry. No, but maybe I not agree with many of. Uh, so you're you're like agnostic. I am, uh -huh. I am agnostic, agnostic. You can say that. Okay. I don't cool. like labels, but. I understand. Maybe maybe you can say that. Okay. Interesting. Nice. Nice. But can I, what kind of of uh, books do you read? I regret of not reading that much. <laughs> I'm more like a movie. Ah, girl. like a movie. Uh -huh. You don't like the, the Da Vinci mu uh, movies, right? Of course. All like Secret Underworld. underworld um, class, you know, now that you're talking about movies, I need to ask has anybody seen The Gambit Queen? No, but yes. I'm kind of intrigued. Okay, uh, who said yes? Which movie did you? 
it's it's a TV show. It's a series in Netflix that is huge. And what is the name? Gambit Queen, I think, or Queen Gambit. I did. I never heard that. Okay, Gio. Honestly, did you like it? Yes. Is it a movie? Is it a movie? Yeah, it's, it's a series. It's a series. It's a series. It's, a series. it's, it's kind of interesting because uh, they really made you have an interest in in, in the in chess. In, in chess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, I I kind of feel bad. <laughs> because like in Facebook, I see a lot of my, my contacts, you know, oh, what a great series. I love this series. I can't stop watching it. And I kind of feel bad because I did not like it. I mean, I felt there was like a lot of characters that like, what the hell? Why did you come back and, and just disappear again? And and yeah. the end, it, but it was interesting. It was entertaining. Yes. Yeah, entertaining. Yeah. But I think it's the fuss is. I don't think it's, it's, it's too much. People are talking, yes. but, but I wouldn't watch it again. But that, what the, it is about the girl is beautiful. She's hot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys watch uh, Dark. Dark is a really good series. Dark is dark. Dark, and <laughs> dark, and dark. I, I like it, that series. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because that explains a lot of things about the time and I, I am really enthusiastic about the understand the time on the 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 space and. Have you seen Black Mirrors? Uh, that that one's very strange. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Black Mirrors. Oh, no, no, no. Do you remember Unsolved Mysteries, that TV show when you were little? Yeah. Yeah, but Black Mirrors is like the heavy version of that. So, of that. Unsolved mysteries. It's mm -hmm. interesting. Okay. Um. Thank you, Carla. Can you ask somebody else now? Ask a man. We need to hear from a man now. Marvin Josué. All right, Marvin. Uh, yes. Do you mind if I you... ask? No, please. Okay. Okay. Watch. Listen to this. You know, imagine imagine you're drinking your coffee and you're having a conversation. So, so Marvin, are you married? Yeah. Are you married? Right now? No. No. Were I'm you married? I'm not married yet. Oh, okay. Mm, are you engaged? Maybe. No, no yet. Okay. The reason why I ask you is because you said right now. I mean, this, usually people don't answer like that. <laughs> you know, are you married? No. Yes. No. But right now, no. Oh, okay. No, no, no. But it's interesting. No, no, yeah. It's sure, sure answer. Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> Can you tell me what you were like in your teens? I'm sorry. How old are you? My. How uh, old are you? I am thirty. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Okay. Can you tell me what you were like in your teens? Yeah. Um, it's like a, like a period of time, right? Okay, in listen to this. Right? Okay, okay, you're 31, right? So you are okay. in your 30s. Yeah. If you were 20, if you were, if you were, if you're 24, you are in your 20s, right? Oh, okay. So okay. if you are in anything that finishes in teen, teen your yeah. teens, mm. your ah, teenager. Oh, ah, so really, it's a new word for me. So, <laughs> um. Mm. Well, I think it's a it's a good age, right? You enjoy, uh, for example, pass with with all uh, with friends or maybe alone. Can you, you tell have, me what you uh, what, what what were you like? Oh well, I enjoy to uh, visit uh, new places, right? So I enjoy to eat a uh, uh, different kind of. In your uh, teens, users. Really? in your teens, yeah. that's what you yeah. do when you're an adult. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. In your teens is when you yeah. party, man. When you try yeah, everything no, for the first time. <laughs> yeah, but that's a, a healthy life, right? But then for in another Not hand, in, in your yes, teens, you I have to live too. your terrible life. No, I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> no, okay. no, no, but yeah, sometimes I I enjoy to 
go out with my friends to you okay. know uh, take leña as bar, right? So it's a good beer, right? To enjoy it. Take yeah. leña as bar, okay. Yeah. Do you know take leña? No, I don't it's know. like a cadejo and something like that. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, so you uh, you used to drink liquor before? Used to yes. When you have you was a teenager, you were drinking a lot or no? Oh, good you question. <laughs> ah, yes. When when I was a teenager, I drink a lot. But right now, it's only for, 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 uh, so, social time, right? You are a minor. You are a minor and you are drinking alcohol. No, only in uh, when when I uh, when I was the the age to drink, right? Okay. When yeah. oh, oh, I don't believe you, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Too, Marvin. Oh, I'm 18 yes. now. I can drink. No. <laughs> no, I have a question. Okay, so you, that's that's good. You, you mentioned a good point there. You said that you used to drink a lot before, but now you drink very socially. What made you change? Uh, well, imagine the age is important. Your body don't support all, oh, all the alcohol in your. <laughs> Yes, it's True. too hard to the next day. Yeah, terrible. Yeah, now I have a hangover for two days yeah. if I get drunk. It's like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, can you see the helicopter, right? No, you yeah. Just yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's very good. So you know, you did you did your thing in the past, and what made you change your age? So you matured. All right, good. Yeah. Good. Hi, man. It's a goal. <laughs> yeah, good. Uh, me too. I, when I, when I, believe it or not, when I was younger, I used to party a lot. But now I, now I'm a good man. Hi, me Perez. Are you married? I'm not here. <laughs> oh, I'm not here, <laughs> or I can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> no, tell me, tell me, tell me. Uh, are you married? Yes. Okay. Can you tell me how you used to be when you were single? Um, no, nothing. I don't know. Um, I, when I think of how is he going? Um, I want to play soccer. I used uh, to play soccer. Um, I was playing soccer. Play soccer. I used to play soccer. Um, and and right now, I'm, I'm, no, that's the correct way. I used to. I used I used to play soccer. Okay. Used to play soccer. Um, I don't know. I have. When I have time, I had uh, to to enjoy to go go out with my friend. I don't know to enjoy something. We we'll have a, a, a go to the party or with 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 my friend. With I don't know that is the when I when I was that single. single. Okay, good. You used to go to parties and discos. Mm, not disco party that with with your with my friend or not really not really disco but with my friend where I enjoy something very social. Okay. okay, do you go to parties now with your friends? Not really. Okay, why not? Why made you change? Because I I, I, I don't have time. I don't have time. Okay, I very good. Yeah. I don't have time. I need to work a lot. And then I all the time I have a hectic day every 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 day and then I don't have time. Of course, you don't have time because you're very busy working and you have a family you have to spend time with. Yeah, I spend time, yes. Okay, very good. I'm sorry, Jaime, where do you work? I work in an accounting firm. Oh, okay, you're an accountant. Interesting, mm -hmm. nice. All right, thank you. Thank you, Jaime. Gio, Gio, let's hear what Gio used to be like. Gio what? used to be a choir boy in church, I imagine. Mm -hmm. You know what a choir boy is? Not really. Those boys in the choir, like Ave Maria, <laughs> with <No>. a candle. <laughs> with a black candle. <laughs> Did you know that Marilyn Manson used to be in the choir? Yeah. yeah. And Axel Rose. Yeah. Can you tell me what? Um, you're in your thirties, right, Gio? I'm forty. You're in your forties. Yeah. Can you tell me what you used to be like in your 20s? 
one. Terrible. <laughs> I used to be terrible. Yeah, I used to party a lot. Oh, terrible. Yeah. How terrible? Um, I used to wear tights. Oh, really? And when I came in the night to my home, I I went to to uh, in the house in the scratch. To scratch the the, the door house. Yeah, like uh, one a.m. <laughs> okay, are you still like that now? Mm -hmm. No. No, why not? What made you change? Mm, because uh, now I have different times. Um, I'm, I'm still do, I, I still wear my spikes in concerts. Okay. But, but I, I, I didn't do the, the other thing that, you know, don't rub the door houses and those, those kind of things. Okay, good. Uh, it's good that you don't do that anymore. <laughs> no, not this time. Do you remember that bar in front of um, Colegio? What was the name of Cristobal Colón? What was the name of yeah. that bar? Yeah. yeah. San Siva, right? Bar. San Siva, yeah. I used to go uh, there frequently. With the three guys, the, the Spanish and Italian and the other guys. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think there was a band, Gas Mostaza, they used to play there. Yeah. There were three. I remember the the, the crawl of culture. Do you remember? Yeah. yeah. I think I must have met you in my wild life. Yeah. <laughs> we used to go to the free, same bars. So, <laughs> and now, now, are you a normal person? <laughs> um, not really. Are you, are you, are you, are you the same? I used to be the same. But, but a little more responsible. Very good. Okay. okay a little, but a little, but a little. Yeah, just a little. Yo salir, no, no, not, not, not alone. Salir. I, I still go to the concerts. I still listen to the same music. But uh, you're responsible now. You're more responsible. Now you think of your actions. A little, a little responsible too. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you a story yeah. and, I, and I hope you ask me questions in class in general. So listen sure, to my talk. I want to ask something yes. to you. Oh, sure, sure. Go ahead, please. Hey, what age do you started to listen to rock or or that music? You uh, of what what I, person influenced you? That I remember, my first tape was a uh, poison. The, do you remember the 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 album? Uh, and and say ah, I don't remember. It, it Open up and say ah. And up and say ha. Ah. That was my first tape in six. Great. Wow. Yeah. Oh my God. And yeah. the next was Cause of Death from Obituary. <laughs> it oh. was the same year. I, I started old school. I, I actually I started listening to Rod Stewart, Jimmy Hendrix, but Rod Stewart like in the 70s. He was a little more rocker. <laughs> Jimi Hendrix and then classic rock. And then I went back to the 80s, with the 70s, 90s. Um, what about the doors? Do you like it, the doors? Of course, everyone likes the doors. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you, the priest? Do you, do you like it? I like Judas Priest, but I don't like the bands that came. Like, you know, I, I feel that a lot of Spanish bands are a very big copy of, like, Rata Blanca and all those bands are just <laughs> copies of, of all these bands. Like, like, like Stratovarius. Yes. <laughs> Listen to this, guys, and, and feel free to ask me questions if you have. When I was single, I used to drink a lot. I still do. <laughs> okay, but imagine, imagine you're interested in. If I if I tell you that when I was, I used to drink a lot. I used to, so that means I don't anymore, you know? So imagine if I tell you that when I was younger, I used to drink a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, you can- You changed. What made me change? Okay, good. Um, and this is true. One time um, I, was so, I was so drunk and I'm not proud of saying this, but I, I was with my wife and that time she was my girlfriend and I had to take her home. 
and um, I remember that in my block, the security opened the gate and I went outside and I went in the sidewalk and I destroyed my car. Well, not, not destroyed, but I even the tires and the rims and everything, I couldn't, I couldn't even see. Imagine I was just leaving the block <laughs> and I crashed. But the, the ironic thing was that immediately somebody opened the door and they pulled me out by my hair and it was the police. And I was like, what the hell? How, you know, how did they appear here so quickly? And then the police was very angry with me and they wanted to arrest me and I was so drunk. They, yeah. And what happened was that somebody had stolen a car, a red car in that zone. So the police, they were driving around and my car was red. So then they immediately assumed it was me because the police, you know, let me see, is this your car? Yes, but I, I had my hand like here, like I don't know how he had me, you know? And he said, give me the papers, let me see. And then I showed him the papers. And he says, where do you live? And I say, that's my house right there. And then the police told the other police, it's his car, but let's take him anyway. And then, and then the other man said, oh, by this time, my, my girlfriend was inside the car. Wow. And they pulled her out too. They didn't treat her bad though. The police were very nice. I mean, they were doing their job. The other person didn't want to. He said, no, leave him. Let's go look for the car. And then I remember when the police returned my, my documents, he told me, you know, you son of a, you're lucky because we're looking for a car, but you deserve to go to jail. You could kill somebody, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And no, no, don't worry about it. Thank you. And I went back home. The next day I woke up and I said, what happened? <laughs> I, I called my girlfriend and where are you in my house? What happened? How? My girlfriend was so angry because she had to call a taxi and, the next day, I, when I went to look at my car, my car was destroyed. And the security, he told me, man. So that day I changed because I, you know, little by little, my memory, <laughs> you know, things started coming back. And I said, oh my God, that day I could have killed some, I definitely, I would have killed somebody, maybe mm -hmm. myself, my girlfriend, or some innocent person I could have hit for drunk driving so i said i will never ever drink and drive again not stop drinking <laughs> just drink and drive mm -hmm. and i stopped and you know it's been more than 10 years and the thing is that i lost a lot of friends after that but i don't care I'm, so now if i drink it's in my house just socially but that made me that made me I felt so bad that maybe I, I told my wife, I deserved to go to jail. What I did was very stupid. How could you change? How could you change your, I don't know, I didn't understand, is this a habit or, or is a illness or not what happened? But they said, no, but some people uh, drink a lot, they I don't know, have any stop or to, I don't know, is, I didn't understand, is this a habit? Is this a habit or is this a illness? Uh, illness? I don't know what, what, what is. You know what? I, that's a good question. I think it's both. Both then? Yes, because I'll give you an example. I used to smoke. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, some people that have smoke. Yeah, is this I, a, is I used, this to, I used to smoke. I, I used to smoke one or more packs a day of cigarettes for, you know, I needed a cigarette and suddenly, I just stopped. I just stopped and it was not difficult at all for me. Now I hate smoke. I hate people around me that smoke. I haven't smoked like in 10 years, I think. But if you ask me, I have, I, for me, maybe it was a habit. It was not an illness yet. I do have friends that they need, they need liquor. They need beer. I, I thought, I thought it was only to have fun, but. 
I think that that is a psycho psychological illness, like I don't know, but because sometime uh, when I was uh, working uh, out of San Salvador, we have some habit to 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 to, to smoke a lot of cigarettes, but when they I change, I need to change easy change, yeah, because if you are I don't know working at it the, was, was it difficult for you to stop smoking? Yeah, I stopped smoking, but I uh, not, not really it wasn't difficult. Sometimes sometimes I I smoke a lot because I was working when when on weekend was I was working in uh, in the um, out of San Salvador, and then when I come back to San Salvador, we, we had a very, you don't have any, we, we, your friend, you have, a, but when, when I come back, come back to San Salvador, I, I to working here in San Salvador, I, I change this, this habit. Yeah, me too. me too. The only bad thing about me stop smoking was that I got fat. <laughs> um, I, I realized that after I stopped smoking because I guess before I used to smoke so much, I never ate. You know, like if, you know, at five, six, I used to smoke a cigarette. And I don't know if somebody here smokes, but sometimes when you smoke before you eat, you don't really get hungry that much. And when I stopped smoking, within a matter of months, I gained a lot of pounds because I started eating a lot. But, um, I prefer that than to continue smoking. <laughs> it's better. <laughs> it's better to eat. <laughs> yeah, but you know that that those are things that you know you used to do and now you don't. And I'm very happy that I took that decision and it was not difficult for me to stop doing that. I always have that in my mind, like, oh my God, I could have killed myself. I could have killed somebody. Definitely, I would have killed somebody that night. So sometimes when I read, you know, I watch the newspaper like, oh, there was an accident at 4 a.m. on a Saturday morning in Redondel, no sé qué. Oh, man, they were definitely, they were drunk. Yeah, that was me 15, 20 years ago. Yeah. But, you know, I stopped. I hope my son doesn't do that. So, you know, sometimes things make you change. What about you, Ronnie? Something bad you used to do or something good you used to do and now you don't? When when I was a, a single, mm -hmm. I, I had a DJ job. You were a DJ? Yes. Ronnie. What was your I DJ miss, name? I, I miss, I really miss this job because. What was your name? Did you have like an artistic name? No, it's a it, it's a um, and just uh, RC is my my name DJ RC DJ RC Monica yeah a DJ <laughs> gentleman yes <laughs> yeah um, DJ when I, when, but when gentleman my, DJ my daughter born born I finished to this job because I need to spend time with my with my wife with my of course daughter. and i have to get a job formally to yeah. get money uh, constantly so your obligations made you change yes because because the dj job it it, 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 it was an informal job because um, it's a it, job for uh, temporada yeah it's, it's seasonal Yes. Did you dance and play music like? <laughs> yes, but it's really nice because there are a very, a very girls in this job. Oh, I imagine. One of my yes. yeah. Okay, cool, interesting. I miss. I mean, I really miss this job. Yeah, I, I imagine. Yeah, you you were, you were not every party. Yes, uh, but did you used to say that typical? Hola, como están? <laughs> where are the where, single where, ladies? Where is, where is the Barcelona fan? Where is the Real Madrid fan? Where is the girls? Where are the boys? 
Yeah. What about if you had to go like to dangerous sections? <laughs> yes. Like let's say La Campanera, where are my people from a popa or, or, or something like that? You can't write it. No, I I, I just was in a watch upon only in in the apartment. in sometimes in Santa Ana City too. Oh, I had a friend who was a DJ, but I don't know if it's true, but if it's true, it has it's logical. He was he went to a bad neighborhood and he put Calle 13 and they almost killed him. And I said, why? Because that zone was 18, you know? Yeah. And there was Calle 13. I'm, oh my God, that's so stupid. Really? Yeah. So they, you know, they told him, hey, you have to stop and get out of here. So why? You know, you can't put Calle 13 here. We're 18. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine that? So, Ronnie, you were a DJ, DJ Ron. Yes. <laughs> it was a disco movie. Oh, that was so cool. Nice. Yeah, you went to all the parties and you drank for free, no? Mm, sometimes. No, okay. Sometimes. Yeah. I had a name, well, he's, he's one of my best friends. He, because I know him, we know we were neighbors since we were little. We grew up together, except he never wanted to study or anything. So all he did in his life was gym, 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 gym. So he became a stripper. And oh. um, when when I was single, I used to go with him to his shows. And that the was show? yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, I, I have, I have. A Women are crazier than men. <laughs> when I when I when I go into the show, the, the DJ say, "Hey, hello, Ronnie Caballero. He's here." <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. I I used to go. I used to take my friend because he used to strip and in discotheques and everything, and he didn't have a car, so I I was the one that would take him. And I saw some crazy things, <laughs> but definitely I know that women party more than men <laughs> okay so i'm happy that everybody used to do something bad and now you don't because we're all responsible now or yeah. because el cuerpo no da más. it's like me now i can't i can't drink and eat pizza because i get sick like oh. all the cheese no you know you know one thing I think is something bad about me before, no, bad now that before I used to like tolerance. Before I used to be very tolerant, you know, I can speak with anybody, oh, you know, have fun. Like, you know, when you go to a, a dinner or a, a bar and, you know, you see friends and I can speak with people. Now, now I'm not. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't have tolerance for people that only talk garbage and blah, 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 blah. It's like, oh, really? <clears throat> so yeah, I have become very antiquado. Like that's what my wife says. It's not only you. <laughs> not only you? No. Yeah. You too, you know, you, are you like that too? Like, you know? Yes, uh, when man, I have I have issues when people that is talking, 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 and uh, oh my God, when he's going to have yeah, um, me too. But I don't, I don't say it. No, yeah, me too. Me too. It's just like, but I don't follow along. I don't. But I got lost. I, I started to think in another things and, and I only see the, the, um, the, the person believes that I'm, I am, I am watching Listen. them, but I don't. I, I am thinking in another stuff. So you're listening, but you're not hearing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me too. And before I used to be like, really? No. Oh my God. Are you? No, that's so crazy. Before. Now I'm just like, oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, and now I, I have a bad habit. I used to be punctual. And now I uh, it's very hard for me to do it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, that's a good habit of mine. Before I used to be very unpunctual. Now, I like to be very punctual. 
And if I'm not, I tell people like, hey, I will be late. For me, it's very hard to be punctual. It's a problem. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it happens. It happens. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, I have a question. Go ahead. Is a class tomorrow? You know what? Let me see if they answered my email. Let me check. Please tell me no. <laughs> Because it's a Black Friday. We want to buy in the night. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me see. We, we want to have a pro promotion in the bars, <laughs> in the restaurant. <laughs> hey, menos mal, we're talking about bad things we used to do and we changed. <laughs> It's just um, a, 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 a Black Friday, it's now all the time. I have a question, I'm sorry. Have you received any messages lately from Inglés Corporativo saying if there are gonna be classes tomorrow? No. No. No, I sent one out today. Okay, so, um, I don't, there shouldn't be class tomorrow, but I'm very sure there might be. But I will send you a WhatsApp, okay? I because have they haven't told me. Yes, Claudia. Are we supposed to finish section one by the end of this week? Well, uh, it's only been two days. I know, but they, they told us we have to work by ourselves in the platform. Oh, by ourselves. Um, yeah, but I think we're going to do, we have two more days. So I think we're going to do two Fridays. Yes, yes, they told us that. Yes, so don't worry, we'll finish it between tomorrow, if we have class, between tomorrow and Monday. Okay. Okay. Together? Um, yes. Okay. One thing, class, my anomalous there are clauses. Remember the clause? Remember yes. I told you about clause? Um, if you have time tomorrow, if you have time tomorrow, or you know, 10, 15 minutes, Go to Google, check out, check out what is a clause. Because a clause is a group of words, okay? It has a subject and a verb. It's a clause. And please remember that because you always learn, you will always study a clause. If you know that a clause is a group of words that has a subject and a verb, good. We have that part. Because then we're going to study a main clause, a time clause, an if clause but you're not going to understand what is that, if what is a time main clause, if you do not know what a clause is. Hey, I have a question. I have some, I have completed the platform. I have some uh, sentences that you have a, I don't know, but the, all the time you have a mistake, like uh, if I have, I have saved, saved money, I wouldn't have broken, I asked, um now or, or, or what is it i don't know but all the time i have a a mistake correct correct expression that you need to, to use uh we'll, we'll do them together and don't worry because sometimes in the majority of the time the platform is always um wrong it's always not working the, 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 i don't know the, the question is that if if i if i save money i wouldn't have broken but I have another, 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 another word I have. I ask. I don't know. I ask. Uh, am I now? I don't know. Is this correct in that way or or, or differently? I don't know. We would have to check. But if if I saved money, I wouldn't have broken my. We would have to check. We'll do it. But if it's telling you it's wrong. Yeah. Sometimes the platform is not working. You can tell some people here in the class, the last lesson, man, it, it didn't work every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So don't, don't, don't nail yourself. <laughs> you see, you can't translate idiomas. Don't, you know, um, don't, don't hesitate. We'll, we'll do them together. Okay. And um, if it's wrong, then we'll do it in the correct way. Okay. Uh, I will send you a WhatsApp tomorrow then, okay? Yeah. I, 
Well, yeah, it's Black Friday. So, Ronnie, I hope we don't have class for you. <laughs> but if we do, hey, you can have us live from the bar, man. <laughs> I, I will be in the DJ disco. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> no, it's a joy. Hey, I bought something I new today. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I bought a monopod. <laughs> I think Gio, you know what a monopod is, right? Yeah, is it for the for phone? No, the, the tree pod is the three, yeah. right? Yeah, that, that's the from two. It's one. Just one. Yeah. Uh, oh, some people say it's a selfie stick, but for a, for a camera, camera is called a monopod. Uh, yeah. So. It, yeah. Yeah. Okay, class. Have a good night. I'll see you. I'll see you when I see you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. Thank bye. -bye. Thank you. bye. bye.